All right, Scope TV, we are here Tuesday night. We got on the phone a legend, a legend in the making, Colby O'Donnell. Colby, what's happening? What up, man? How's everything? Well, everything's great, man. Bless you, so working. Beautiful. Where are you calling tonight from? I'm actually in my studio in uh, Los Angeles right now. Okay, all right. Uh, so you're only 19. What age did you start making music at? Man, I started when I was like 9, 10. Mm, okay. Now, coming up, what you you grew up in Queens, right? In a nice Puerto Rican family. What's what's that all about? Oh yeah, you know, I was born in New York, I raised out there for a little while. Um, grew up out there, and uh, around like eight years old, I moved out to Florida. Uh, lived out there in Orlando for a little while, and then from Orlando, I moved out to uh, Los Angeles to chase my dream around 15. Wow, man, young, young and motivated, that's for sure. So how'd you know that from such a young age that music was your life and that's what you wanted to pursue? Well, I, when I was nine, I got signed to uh, Full Force back in the day. A lot of Lisa Lisa had the Cold Jam, uh, you know, a lot of different artists, you know, from pretty much everybody that was hot, they, they worked with them at that time. And, you know, 10 years old, I got signed to Motown Records to sing on the do a little soundtrack. And, uh, you know... Before I actually got my deal with Akon, I had uh, six independent albums, you know, before I got Interscope and kind of lost the And that's funny, because that's exactly my next question. Were you a fan of Akon before meeting him and oh, signing yeah. to Convict Music? Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. That's cool. If you could, what, what's, a re what's a recording session with Akon like? What's, what's, what's the mood in that room, in that studio, creating music? Laid back sometimes. It's different. It changes with his mood, but... It is very fun, man. It's very different, unique. It's a, a, a great experience to go through. I mean, he's definitely musically uh, swayed. It's crazy how he just comes up with things so fast and how much, you know, we can have so much fun in the studio and just act stupid and still get a lot of work done. It's, it's a lot of fun, man. That's great. So I, uh, recently you were, uh, you opened up for New Kids on tour. What would you say you took away from that experience, you know, opening up for obviously pop music legends, no doubt, and from Boston, quick Boston shout out, what was that like and what did you take away from that experience? Definitely a lot of, to see how, how you know, dedicated the fans were for such a long time ago was, was, you know, definitely a lot of motivation for me to know that I'm going to have a lot of fans like that 15 years from now, I'm going to have fans just like that, so that was a blessing just to be able to, to experience that and envision, you know, all that, you know. Um, such a short period amount of time, it was great. It was a lot of, a new experience for me, definitely. Tight. Now, you and Lady Gaga recently uh, got a Grammy nomination, am I right with that? Yeah, man. So what'd you guys do? How'd, how'd you celebrate that? That's real big. Lady Gaga is still a artist kind of under the radar. How did, how'd that uh, collaboration come to be, and how'd you celebrate the nomination? Oh, well, I just, you know, we just kept working. I know she's on tour right now, so she's been on tour, I've been on tour and doing a lot of studio, so, you know, just that right there, I know, for me, it was just a fuel to keep wanting to work even more, just to get more grand nomination ideas, so, uh, I know she's on tour, so I, I don't know I, what she was up to, I mean, I called her, we talked to each other for a little bit about it, we're excited, happy, and it's just a, a blessing, man, and, and we just keep on, we keep on moving. Great. Now, obviously, every time we put something about Colby O'Donnell on scopemag.com, the ladies are, are swarming with comments. How do you, uh, how do you deal with just the swarms of women, a thousand women that all want a piece of you. Are you a, a relationship type of guy? I mean, how, how do you deal with all that? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm single right now, but I'm, I definitely love relationships. You know, my longest relationship was like three and a half years. So I'm, I'm definitely the type of relationship kind of guy, you know, I just like that. Just having someone to hold and just be with kind of thing. You know, I'm not, I'm not the kind of just like to mess around, especially because these, these kind of days, you know, it's just not safe anymore like it used to be back then. So I just kind of like to just have someone that I can just be safe with and just know that I ain't got nothing to worry about. That's cool. Now, your album, Kobe O, which is ridiculous, what track on the album is the most personal to you and why? Let You Go. Mm, and what, what's that What's that track all about? That was when I was in my breakup or the relationship phase that I was going through with my girl at the time. That was, uh, those lyrics were what I was singing about, you know, to her. I kind mm. of, you know, dedicated that to her. She knows, you know, it was, it was hard. You know, we were together for three and a half years, and I was like, she, she was everything I knew. But, you know, I didn't know any other thing. Anything else, you know, I didn't, I never really dated around any, with anybody. And she was like my real, 
my first real relationship. So it was like everything I knew. You know, I didn't know anything else. So that's why, you know, you're everything I know. It's so hard to let you go. That was like the main part of the course because that was like the truth for me. It was a hard record for me to record, you know, because she meant a lot to me. But, you know, sometimes, you know, good things have to come to an end and everything does, you know. That's it. I hear that. So my last question, uh, what are your plans for the rest of the night? What's going on tonight in L.A.? You recording? You going to the club? What's happening? We're going to see you on TMZ? What's happening? Tonight. <laughs> but I got to, you know, just a lot of recording. I got some rehearsals, you know, getting ready for some shows coming up. And just, you know, just keeping my, my craft as, as intact as possible. I mean, it's a lot of work, but it's definitely, you know, worth it in the long run. And what's happening for 2009? Where can the fans go check you out? New fans, old fans. What's happening in the new year? Colby.com. C-O-L-B-Y-O.com. You type that in, it takes you to my MySpace. That keeps the fans updated with every little thing I'm doing. So, you know, they can keep up on there. And 2009 is going to be a big year for me. So we got a lot of great things planned, and I just can't wait to see how everything pans out. That's it. Well, you heard it here first. Scope TV. Colby O'Donis. We got the exclusive... Okay, calling in from Los Angeles. That's what it is. Colby, thanks for the call tonight. We're going to talk to you real soon. Yeah, definitely. Bless you, man. Thanks for having me. All right, man. All the best. All right, you too, man. Peace.